What is up YouTube? My name is Bunny Films, and today we are in the great game of Lumber Tycoon 2 by default too. And in this video, guys, we are gonna be building a wood sorting sawmill setup. So last time in this series, this is number two episode or episode number two. Got that right on backwards. Uh, we did a simple sawmill setup that just had a funnel conveyor and then a few conveyors that led up to a car where the wood was uh, piled into. You can check that video out if you want. And anyways, guys, I hope you're a fantastic day. And for this build, basically. We're just going to be sorting wood, and we're going to have a nice little handy machine. This is called a wood detector. You can purchase it at Lynx Logic, which you have to take the ferry, which is over there, all the way across the water, to the shop and purchase it from Lynx Logic. So then we also have a funnel, funnel conveyor, and we have several tilted conveyors and a straight conveyor, which can be purchased at Wood or Us. And you can use as many conveyors as you want. I just have, I believe, yeah, I have plenty. But what we're going to do to start off, we're going to place our... Um, sawmill whatever and let me scroll down to the chat there we go we want to get our funnel conveyor place it at the start of the sawmill right here so it's easier to pile on the wood next what we want to do is you want to grab a straight conveyor and you can purchase or no you can place it uh, right here you do have it takes a little time to get adjusted perfectly because it's a completely different thing come on there we go and you want to make sure the green little knobs are facing that way because if they are not, then the wood will not go in that direction. It'll go in whichever direction the little knob is pointing. Next, we're going to grab our three, or actually, I'm going to grab four tilted and place them like so right here. And we're going to. Oh gosh, no. Nope. Uh, come on. E. And we're going to place all four just to lead it up a bit high. Then we're going to grab our straight conveyor. And then we are going to have to go to the shop because I think I did accidentally delete some of the blueprints because we are going to need a special conveyor which I did want to purchase during the video because it's a specific one. But we want to continue and grab all of these. There we go. And then you want to grab a straight conveyor at the top. So that was four tilted and two straight in one funnel and then a sawmill so far. And then you'll need a wood detector and a few wires. Let's go ahead and move this wood out of the way. You can play it in a moment. Let me just record this video. So let's move all of this wood over a bit just so we have a little room and stuff. And once this is completely done, or you have all the sawmills, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the conveyor's place, we're going to go ahead and go to Wood R Us, and we need to buy a special conveyor. They're going to just drive over there, and I'll show you where all the other sawmills are as well. Oh, uh, so, so, making it good right now. Anyways, here are where all these sawmills are. We have the tilted ones, which are on the top, and then we have our funnel one right here. And then the straight ones are here. You can use curved ones if you want, if you want to do anything special. These are supports, which just add decoration. They're not required. And then here are some advanced ones. I'm not going to go over every single one, but this one just sweeps the wood to a nice pile. This switches which way the wood goes, and if you're doing a wood sorter and you want to... If you're only sorting two pieces of wood, which I don't see why you would, but you could go with that but for this if either one works but all that matters is that you have um whichever direction you want the wood to go so which, this is a this is going to be a left one let's go with this one for the video we can go ahead and talk to him and you should get some wires here in the back right there where my cursor is but yes come on come on talk thank you tom there we go thank you Let's head back over here, and guys, later today you can expect a Blast Hook video. Defaultio's new game is releasing on Tuesday, which is about when you guys will be seeing this video. Um, so expect a video either that day or tomorrow of watching it. But anyways, you want to grab this conveyor. We're going to place it up here, like this. Make sure it's placed correctly. And how this works, or I'm not going to place it up there yet, but how this works is that... Yeah, this little blocker here, let's just call it a blocker, and what the detector is going to do, when it de detects a piece of wood, it will open the blocker, like so, and then the wood will be directed this way, and then when it's done, it will close it like that. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and place this up here, like that, there we go. Is that lined up? Yep, that is. And now what we're going to do, and you, you're you going to need a few more logist or a few more things just to do this. You know, grab your wood detector, and the tricky part about this is angling the laser perfectly. That's what I have a little trouble with, because sometimes the wood is just so small it goes right under the laser. But if you place it up here like this, oh, that might be too small. If you're using small pieces of wood, it will be a bit tricky. So I knocked over my um, bird I made, seagull. 
But let's, um, so now what you need to do is you need to get a little tiny piece of wood. Uh, I have my little piece right here. Because you need a little piece of wood to put in here. And this is what every wood is that's going to flow off. It's a bit difficult to explain. But let's just slide it in there like that. And when the wood's in there, it will finally be activated. You can notice a little faint laser beam showing here. And I think this is elm wood. So if we grab a piece of elm wood. I have some over here. And I'm actually going to cut this up a bit. Just to, um, because I don't need all this. There we go. And it might be too small of a piece, but basically, it came out of the sawmill, fresh, fresh piece of wood. Yeah, I think it's going to go under this, <laughs> under the laser because it's so tiny. Might make, need to make a few adjustments. Um, wait, no, it's going to work. Is it? No, it just went under. Barely. But what you can do, um, yeah, let's try this. We can put this about right here. There we go. Let's try that out. Because, yeah, there we go, it's activated, you can also listen for the little sound. Now let's test this out, it's going up, it activates, l hold on, we have to stand on the other side, I forgot. So when the wood goes into the, ah, it's too low, too little. So if you want to use, use little wood, I mean, I don't recommend it, but you can if you want, you'll just have to find a different place for the laser. Let's make this 1.6 by 1.6. Let's watch his sawmill, and then I, I'm pretty sure it's going to activate it now. Yes, it's going to activate it. And let's wait. Uh, you have to wire the detector to the toggle. Um, yeah, yep. Yep, I do. So, we can watch this piece. When it passes through the laser, this will turn blue. Unless you're on a really laggy server, which I'm apparently in. There we go. You hear a little boop like a checkout line when it passes through. And bigger wood does work well with this, but I mean little tiny nuggets should be detected in regular servers, but I think this is a bit of a laggy one. I don't know why. But anyways, now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and you could just wire this up here to here, but let me show you what the problem is. Let's grab this one wire here. And the problem is, it does not stay closed for a long... Oh, wait, no, because it's nil. Let's just try it. You have to go... You have to do special. Let's just do this for now. There we go. So you have it like that. The wood... Oh, the wood's over here. Okay. So let's test this out. We can put this here. And the wood goes through the signal. There we go. And it closes it. But the signal doesn't stay long enough, and it just goes through. So that's why you need to purchase a signal sustainer. Woohoo! Fancy stuff. You can get one of these um, at Link's Logic as well. Uh, this is a signal delay. I need to sustain. Like I have one over here. I did do a video on this, but it, it completely failed, so I, I scrapped it. So there we go, signal sustain. And there are two different things, signal sustains and signal delays. Make sure you get the sustain one. And then these are also glitched a bit. I'm not sure why. But usually there's an arrow telling you which way the, cur or the electrical current will flow. Right now it does not, which is a bit weird. Uh, so yeah. It's going to be a bit difficult to f figure out which way. But you need two wires. I don't know where I have an extra one, but we can just grab one from over here. A neon wire, which should look fancy. Orange is great. Not hop in the car, come on. I need to clean space up. But you want to hook this up to the end, or what I hope to be is the end. Place that up there. There we go. And then let's adjust the delay. The heck. Okay, let's, let's test it up here. Because in different servers with different amounts of lag, um, the value will differ. Like sometimes in perfect servers, it will be too short, but in laggy servers, it will be really long. Which isn't a bad thing. If it's short, it's a bad thing. But yeah. Anyways, let's test this out. So the wood's on the conveyor. Headed up there. Put this in the middle just for viewing purposes. It goes through the laser. There we go. It says boop. You wait for the blue beam. It goes up. And the wood goes through like that there we go guys that is how you make a little um thingamajig a wood sorter now i'm just oh I, I had one of those i knew it i knew it but what we can do is we can just grab a funnel conveyor and make a little bin just for demonstration purposes and if you do want to extend on this you just have to purchase more signal sustainers wires and wood detectors and basically Oh no, it's not hooked up correctly. I'll, I'll explain it in a second, but let me just get this hooked up. 
Come on. Why is this being a pain in the booty? Come on. There we go. Now that's lined up. Make sure it's facing the right way. But anyways, guys, if you do want to repeat this, you just have to repeat this little section with the straight conveyor, the funnel, or the straight conveyor switch left, or right, and another funnel conveyor. And then you need your signal, sustain, two wires, and the wood detector with whatever wood you want going into the bin inside of the little wood thing. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and grab, or make a little bin, just for viewing purposes. I already have the blueprints made. So you're going to place one there. I'm going to grab one more large floor somewhere. Place one up there. There we go. And we can put these all together in a second. Place up there. And one cool thing you can do with this is like make the... Nope, that's not it. Uh, make the wood... The color of the blueprints... Or the wood type of the blueprints according to whatever wood you're putting in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this right here. Like that. There we go. And we can grab another one. You can also make a little door so you can get the wood easily. But we're just going for simplicity right now. Not too much detail. Place this right there. And for this part, I don't think I can really place uh, fit this blueprint in there. But what we're just going to do is demonstrate this one last time. Actually, we're going to make it go through the sawmill. Actually, it's in there. Did it go? Yeah, it's in there. It's sawmilling. Hello, unbroken ball boy 3256. Anyways, this is what it looks like so far. And it's going through here. The laser is going to detect it. Hopefully. Uh, this is a game's fault, not mine. I mean, the contraption works perfectly. Okay, let's wait for it to reset really quickly. I dragged it through. There we go. Okay, we just pop this down again. Come on, work. There we go. It boops. And the blue bars are slowly going down. And why is this stuck? There we go. And it slowly goes on through into the pit. And later on, when you're grabbing wood for building stuff, you're like, oh my gosh, here's wood. And you can go fill a blueprint. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if this was helpful. If you want any other cool contraptions made, just let me know. I think I'm going to do like a one by one by one unit thingamajig. Anyways, guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.